Yo, what's going on guys? Zyra got some nice AP buffs to help out her mid and late game, so I wanted to run her in the jungle and show you how it's done. For our runes, we have Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Ultimate, with Futures, Cosmic, Double EP, and Armor. Up against an Elise, not a bad matchup by any means. Zyra doesn't have bad jungle matchups, it's more about how easy are her lanes to gank. Because if you don't have gankable lanes, there's not a whole lot you can do. Something that's kind of annoying about Zyra jungle is you can't choose where your passive plant goes. It kind of just goes in a random direction. So just keep an eye out for that when your passive comes up. If you get a lucky RNG, it can help out a lot with your initial camps or even in champion fights. Look at that. Got a sweet load of them. You don't need a leash on Zyra. I like to start Raptors. It's a high priority camp. It's the easiest camp to invade for the enemy jungler in general because it's not that deep. They can get in and get out pretty safely. And plus, we can wrap red Krug, gank, or wrap red Krug, reset, full clear back down, and they come up beautifully. We want to try to let our plants tank as much as possible, because they're pretty tanky. Your Q will spawn them, even if you're, like, it doesn't touch them. It has a very large spawn radius, so just make sure your Q actually hits what you're trying to make it hit. The Q damage is very, very helpful. All right, we'll go ahead and put it there. I think I missed my Q on the red buff, though. It is what it is. Have that extra plant right there. Bad RNG. I'm not going to smite it because it's already well below 600 health and we have that plant there. We're full health. I probably shouldn't even have bought this potion. Somewhat wasteful. We'll go ahead and smite this and look for the gank in a moment. I don't have to burn my W because my passive put a free one right here. All right, I'll just let my plant finish it. Cool. All right, so we finished roughly 225. That's really fast. That's about as fast as a Hecarim 3 camp clear. We're full health as well. We're going to ghost out, try to get some pressure down. Oof, we're going to miss. Down EQs, she flashes. We auto it. And we're out. That worked really well. I'm glad Ashful committed for that. That was really good. Go ahead and reset here. Got double plants. First recall, you can always afford Dark Seal. Dark Seal's super good. In fact, that's what I'm going to buy right now. Pick up Control Ward. You can go for Ultimate Hunter or Relentless Hunter. I wish I had Relentless Hunter this game. It helps you to delay boots or Tier 2 boots for a while. Ultimate Hunter's more for the mid and late game. Wait, what does Elise have? Red buff, blue buff. Her blue buff's about to expire. She did a four camp clear. She's coming for my blue buff right now. I'll ward over the wall with control ward. She might start it. There should be a plant right here for her to break into me though. She might hit that. I'm gonna go for scuttle. She could be in bush or just waiting to scuttle crab. That's so annoying. She's taking quite a bit of damage. She's on my plants. Those are my slow plants as well since my E activated it. So she's getting perma slowed. That's what she gets for trying to cheese me. Your E doesn't have as much range. Your E plants. Your Q plants have more range, but they don't slow. And of course, they both do damage. I'll be taking this scuttle. Top lane's looking extremely gankable. Your E has a travel time and your Q has an activation time. So you can QW and it'll still work or you can EW and it will still activate your plant, your W. She doesn't have boots. She should try to suicide into my turret. I think that's what's happening. Gotcha. Yeah, suicide on that, buddy. Well played to her. Psych. I'm going to go for my Gromp. The wave's in a pretty good spot for Quinn. It's coming into her. I knew she was going to do that, so we just cut the tighter path, cut her off. We don't want to use our E plants there because our E plants might not be able to reach her. We need to get some damage on her. Dark Harvest is viable. It's just not as good as Electrocute in my opinion. Electrocute's more damage. We need our ganks to turn out. At least his bot side. I'm going to go invade her top side then. With that plant finish. Beautiful. Elise has boots. Ooh, D-ring. I've been seeing that more. Jungler's picking up a Doran item. It's cheesy and strong. It's interesting. It's almost like picking up an, a Dark Sill. Gives you a big boost in the early game. 
I'm just gonna ping out to the Silas that yeah, she's not over here. That's a good ward though. All right, we'll take this real quick. I have a smite charge, so I don't mind it. Yeah, buddy. Look at that W cooldown. So good. So good. Getting that huge refresh off of killing monsters. I have ghost. You can do it, Cass. Keep running. You can do it. You can do it. I believe. <laughs> Just keep running down. We had more HP. We can take... 10 hits to the face that won't matter this dude's level six i don't want to die this isn't worth it if i die i lose all my dark seal stacks that i've worked so hard to get at least his bot side 28 cs for 37 cs I'm telling you we're sitting pretty no one knows it yet we'll go for the oracles probably should have gotten that first back i like sork shoes a lot Zyra's full magic damage every single spell The W refresh is interesting. Killing an enemy reduces the recharge by 20%. Champion takedowns large jungle monster kills and large minion kills reduce it by 100%. So large minions is just the primary, or large monsters is just the primary monster in the camp. So when we kill that big Krug, we immediately get a plant back. And it gave it for those ones as well, it seems. Or, okay, just when you kill anything, killing an enemy reduces by 20%, and there's a lot of those, that makes sense. So it's 2020-20. I see. We can use our W to get down vision with the W active. Let's push it towards the other plant. Because I don't want to have to stay here. I'll let my plants finish it. My jungle item is best for Zyra. Having that extra slow. Because most of the time you want to use Q plants for the extra range. And not have to use the E plants. It's just whatever ability is what hit the seed is what can, it's going to be what type of plant it is here. Our plants is just uh, really high attack speed. So if you can get them snared, get them inside your R, those plants are going to rip super hard. Super, super hard. I would like if they gave her some bonus damage against monsters on the Q and the E instead of only the plants. It'd be nice. I'm going to put one right there for you, buddy. Hmm. Yeah, they can fight my plants, I guess. I'm out of plants, though. This is a bad fight. This dragon does a lot of damage in particular. Attacks extremely frequently. All right, I'm popping art. Got it. Perfect smile. I got it at like 595 there. Got the snare under her. I'm down to leave though. We already got the drag. I'm sitting on dark still stacks. I don't feel like dying. Uh, I guess her raptors are back up. I could swing around there real quick. Let's do that. Those little ones should be attacking my plant. Why are they chasing me? And once we kill this thing, we will get a free plant. Cool. I'm going to go get her wraps. Zyra damage is a little on the lower side. That's why she has to lean so heavily into Leandri's and the Rylai's. Sometimes things don't aggro your plants, even though it's closer than I am. They'll just keep chasing. Okay, all right. We can land this. She doesn't even know I'm here. Got two plants on her head. Got it. Sucks for her. I'm out of there. She's gonna fall so far behind because I've been power farming. She hasn't been. Red buff autos for the win plus slow plants. This guy's moving 110 movement speed. My R is up, so ganking would be nice here. I'm not seeing it, though. It's important to ping for your teammates. Even if you're not the jungler, if you ping for your teammates, just don't ping on their head. Ping what? 
ping where the enemy is. They'll react a lot better and be less likely to mute you. Easiest herald in the world. Getting turned around. I can hit it from behind. I have ghost for this. I also have tier 2 boots. I'm moving pretty quick. I don't have my E. My snare missed. Got red buff autos on her forehead though. Nice. It's about time for me to... Well, we could stay for this turret. I'll, I'll use my potion to make this a bit safer. Not sure if Fizz's was a petition in minimap. Rain, he's not coming up here. If he is, I'm ghosting and abandoning the Quinn. Sometimes that Oracle bug is still in. Sometimes when I use Oracles after Herald, it'll immediately refresh back to a, a fresh one. And sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know what the deals with that bug if they finally fixed it. Because it seems like just a couple games ago I was able to do that. Got our Ryla. is going to make our ganks way, way, way better. We're cooking, man. Absolutely. Dragging up a 140. I should have gone blue side in the bot side in a drag. That was a mistake. Pathing bot side here. I would say Zyra overall right now is a worse version of Brand Jungle. Because Brand got a huge jungle buff this patch, and Zyra it was mainly just a scaling buff. It wasn't necessarily a jungle buff. So if you are looking to play an off meta mage, it's still just Spran seems like the one. It's pretty easy to pull off. Wow, she's low. What the heck is she doing? Can I solo Caitlyn? Pretty equal item. I don't even have both my plants, so we'll see. My plant can't even reach her. This is ridiculous. There we go. Got her with my smite slow. Ah, it is what it is. Can't keep up with that. My issue with the Caitlyn was it was an E plant, so it had short auto range instead of a Q plant. That was the issue there. There's no reason to ever do E plants once you have Rylize, at least not intentionally to do E plants. Oh, okay. I got down my snare and it misses. I don't have the damage. I'm not that champion. Can't chunk him out like that from range. Go for Cass here. She's pretty squishy. She went greedy for Leandris. Nice, nice. Okay. Your Q is, I feel like a little less range than your E. Let me see. Yeah, your Q is a little less range than your E. Not by much, but it is noticeable. I think it's kind of silly that your E Plants have short range. Like, why should your E plants even have short range? Like, I get there should be differentiation between the Q and the E plants, but they, they could just make the Q plants do more damage or something along those lines. Because the E plant range is so unbearably low that if you're landing your snare, you don't really need the slow from the plants, at least not for a while. It, it's a weird thing. Let's just say there's a reason why Rallies is one of Zyra's highest win rate items. Even though, oh, she has slow <laughs> on her E plants. You know, if the slow on her E plants was that good, she wouldn't need Rallies. Let's leave it at that. It's all about the Q plants. Now, if you're fighting a monster camp, it's not going to move like this. It doesn't really matter because they both do the same amount of damage. But against champions, since they're trying to get away from your plants, that's when it really matters. 
You can max your W second over your E. You'll be missing out on damage and root duration. I wouldn't personally recommend that. I should have laid a plant there because every time you kill something, it reduces the cooldown. I should have laid a W before I finish those all off. Because right now I can only store two seeds. I think you can only ever restore store two seeds without her W is these days. And goes Fizz. I'm gonna take those Raptors. I'll put a plan in there. Hey, yeah, walk into that at least. That's gonna be fun. And it stopped attacking her for some reason before it had even faded. Oh, this is bad. That's not what I wanted. Got down as much as I could before I died. Couldn't get off my R in time. Didn't realize there was three of them there. We'll go for Leandri's next into Azania's. If you're on the team with more range, Zyra's a solid pick. She's a counter puncher. The same way Brand is. To where if the enemies have to come to you, it's much easier for you to like land your spells. This is a bad fight. We traded off so much gold as the team that's ahead. It's not what you want to do when you're ahead. Donnie's would definitely save us from the fizz. I gotta stop Caitlyn here. Oh my gosh, she might actually get it. She doesn't feel like dying for it. The plant range is only 575 on Q. Caitlyn auto range is 650. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot they made smite AoE damage recently. They made it AoE when it's finished. Hmm. Alright. This is a weird fight. This fight doesn't make any sense. Pop my R for that. Got, oof, my E missed. That sucks. Gotta get back in this fight. Go, plants, go! Nice. Zyra auto range is 575. How did I never notice that? That's super high. That's longer than standard AD care auto attack range at 550. Run, Silas, you fool! He still <laughs> killed Oriana. Alright, that's neat. Get out of here, bro. Wait, Silas went back in. Alright. That fight was absolutely stinky. Our team is not grouping their death balling on us right now. Zyra is a team fighter. She doesn't play well in split pushes. I guess I could just try to clear waves. That is an option. Can't afford the entries before this fight. Not even if I sold Dark Seal. Position off to the side so we can land a big Q. I'll we'll use a single plant. Alright, let's go set up. She's simply going to walk away. Feels bad. Eat my plants. Mm, all right, that's good. Let me get my R down for that. I'm on a cooldowns here. Get down a QW. Defensive E. I think I've missed every single E on that champion. That slithering snake. Your plants are particularly good against kind of mages, I'd say. AD carries can usually kill them in one or two autos really, really quickly. And, for 80 carries that outrange your plants, like, it's 
kind of a direct counter to Zyra. Because most AD carries are, like I said, 550, whether it's a Jin or a Kai'Sa. First two that come to mind. I mean, or heck, a Sivir at 500 or Callista at 525. Your Q plants outrange that at 575, but with the Ash, Caitlyn, they both outrange my plants. So they can hit them and my plants can't hit them back, basically. That's something to think about, really. If you want to play Zyra, does the enemy AD carry outrange your plants? It's time for me to spend my gold. Got it. The Leandres will make those really, really sting. At the moment, it's not stinging. This is a weird fight. I'll ghost for it. Down the snare, our plants, and we're Gucci. Our plants shred men. 50% more attack speed. An actual bonus. And they gain 50% health. That's weird. They're tankier as well. We're at 12 assists. Standard Zyra gameplay. It's hard to actually secure the be the one to secure the kill. I wouldn't even say Dark Harvest really helps you to secure the kill because Dark Harvest is kind of bad. It doesn't activate at 10% health. It activates when they're below half health. So, Like I said, it doesn't help you secure the kill at all, really. Woo, Bubby, look at that. She felt that. There goes half her health. Yeah, she felt that. I'm coming. Yeah, Caitlyn's one tap in my plants. I'm on cooldown, so I mean, she really shouldn't be going in right now. But it worked. <laughs> All right. Quinn's pulling some weight. Ooh, the snare. Goodbye, Fizz. He got smited in midair. Smite only does 40 true damage, though. Their team's falling apart. They don't have a good way to engage. They needed an Orin or a Malphite top, not a Cass. The team already had more than enough damage. All right, I'm out of here. I'm overstaying. I'm at 150 CS, 23 minutes in. It's an okay amount with how much we ganked. Could be higher. I knew Zyra was gonna, or Elise was gonna come coming. <laughs> She's fighting my plants. She's crazy. It's never worth it to stand there and get hit by Zyra plants. I can assure you. Ash is going in deep with Ghost on. Elise can't keep up. Nobody can keep up with that. We basically want to go for. A Zonny's in the Void Staff or Zonny or Rabadon from here. We need something to stay alive first. Alright, we're out of here. Did lose two inhibs. Could play Draxel Wincon. That's going to be a long drawn out game though. I'm looking to end before then. Yeah, Leandres is so good. You could rush Leandres first. The problem with it is it leaves you incredibly squishy to where the enemy jungler has any amount of burst, whether it's a Jarvan, Evelyn, Rek'Sai, Kha'Zix, Rengar. Like, really, any jungler can burst you if you walk into them or if they flash your plant, your snare. The Rylai's health gives you enough to be more bruisery. Oof, she kills them quick. Dragon's coming up in 19. I'm heading on over. They, I think they should rework the Zyra random seed spawn passive. It's terrible. I hate it so much. 
not being able to choose where it goes and you're like, oh but she's a plant queen it's spontaneous that's first of all that's outrageous don't say that secondly but there's no there's no skill to it there's no control I, like you should feel good using your ability i don't want to be play a wild mage who casts a thunderbolt and wipes out their whole party you know i want to be able to choose where my abilities go all right cool we got it nice 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 i think we got blue buff coming up here me likey ah oh, it's all gone the w there and we're heading back mesh is the move right now since we're 10 stack dark seal extra movement speed's huge for getting away from their skill shots is R and whatnot actually let's just go demonic i think we could skip zanias if they had a proper fed assassin if, they, if their fizz was huge or if they had a zed or something I would go Zanya's, but since he's so far behind, I think I can get away with just having the HP from Demonic because he won't have the one tapping power and he needs to actually kill me. Dude, they really try to run past the plants. Like, it's weird how they do that. Some of them choose to, some of them don't. I gotta be careful. He could always turn on me if I get too close. Wow. Got annihilated. Alright, I got my seedlings. We're ready to boogie. I'm playing pretty far back all of a sudden. Oof. Imagine if one of these snares would connect. It'd be beautiful. Absolutely glorious. Get it, plant. Ah, oh, not quite in range. Getting just a single spit from the plant can be enough to mess up a fight. Do a quarter of enemy 80 carries health. Mm, all right, you're dead. No, okay, I think she's dead, question mark. No, she's not dead. That was close, though. Almost. Imagine if I was 16 kills instead of... 16 assists. <laughs> that would have been a kill. I need to get this turret. Go, plants, go! It's almost like he's trying to get to me or something. No! That's not what I wanted. Before I died, I got down a big Q. I'm back to 10 mesh. I didn't actually lose any stacks there. Got enough assists. I think that's game. All in all, Zyra jungle, it's okay. Even with these AP scaling buffs, if they changed her passive, I'd push more for it. I wanted to give it a good try since she did just skip buff. But all in all, if I do want to play an off meta AP jungler for the best carry potential, I would pick Rumble, and then for whatever reason, if I wasn't going to play Rumble, then I'd pick Bran, and then I'd pick Morgana, and then basically, Zyra, is a, she's basically, <laughs> she's just a, a single stair step above Teemo Jungle in my mind at the moment, just barely. With that being said, Teemo Jungle is legitimate. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage ultimate champions, we were number two in the game behind the Quinn. Very solid damage taken. Middle of the pack, self minigame. We're going to be low because, I mean, we're not building armor magic because we don't have baked in shields. And for runes, decent value. All in all, like I said, Zyra Jungle, it's okay. It's no Rumble. It's no Bran. It's no Morgana. But it is still fun. If you guys enjoyed this Zyra video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.